Former Barcelona B coach Garcia Pimienta is currently building a monster in Las Palmas as he is instilling the Barca way in them. He even got them promotion last year and is currently enjoying a top fly season. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. We do all things Barcelona tactically. Just yesterday he got extended until June 2025, but without further ado, let's get right into the tactical analysis. Just like Xavi, Garcia also has this huge problem where teams are always sitting on his pivot. However, the one pivot is static while the other one is allowed to move into the half space in order to get on the ball. And also, if they follow this pivot, then the number 9 is almost like a false 9 that gets on the ball every time that happens. And speaking of pivots, this is one of the most dynamic pivots that I've ever seen in my life. Where the one always remains static, you know, that pivot position where he's trying to get on the ball, you know, maybe for that wall pass that they used him for sometimes. Where the other one is always patrolling just in behind, looking for that space that's left by the press, right? And then he would get on the ball and look to get the ball upfield. A second ago, I was mentioning how the 8 always moves and patrols in behind the number 6, right? But the number 6 never really patrols high up the pitch. When he's blocked a passing lane, he moves in between the center backs, you know, to get on the ball. And the center backs are always encouraged to move forward when this happens, you know, to get the ball to move around. Now, here's the difference between Las Palmas and Barca. Barcelona's free eights always move to get on the ball, while Pimienta's men always move to be an option to get on the ball. Let's say the 10 moves towards the ball, that leaves space for the winger to invert and this is the tiki-taka way. So when the ball moves and the guys invert, what does that do? That leaves the wing open for the fullback to actually take advantage of the space. And also the centre back moves into the half space and this is how Las Palmas actually overload to isolate, which is a huge, huge difference. Another interesting thing that I've noticed is that Las Palmas always have this rule, maybe one or two horizontal passes and then the next two has to be vertical passes. Let's say we go from centre back and then it has to be a vertical pass towards the full back and a vertical pass to the winger. And therefore they can actually make a one-two and the movement causes this for all the players of the opposition to be out of position. On their pass, maybe you can see they've spent quite a lot of time in the midfield as well as on the wings. So it's really intricate passes that is the focus. They make a lot of passes into the half, from the half space into the box and also from the side of the box into the box, you know. So this is really small differences, guys, but it makes the most huge differences ever. Remember the part where I said that when the 10 drops towards the ball, the winger inverts and the fullback overlaps? That is how you easily get people out of position, you know, move the players, not the ball, right? And the wingers are usually the guys that you want to get at the end of the box. Now, that not only happens on the wings, that also happens in midfield where the wingers, the midfielders, excuse me, make opposite movements. Let's say the 10 and the 8 drops, the 6 actually moves up the pitch. He gets in between the lines and at the same time, you also get the guys getting played in behind. So this is mastermind tactics and this is I think the Barcelona DNA out and out. I also love the openness that Las Palmas played with, right? Or plays with, where the pivot actually drops in between the center backs and as soon as the ball is moved up the pitch, they form this box in midfield. Now, Barcelona also has this box, but look at the massive, massive difference. As the ball moves, the guys now do the movement and then you actually get the fullback in behind. Where the fullbacks or the winger is already wide or we have an inverted fullback or an inverted winger, which is the difference where it makes us static and we don't have movement.
When I was doing research, I saw countless times where they just got the ball in behind, you know, the runs that was made, where we hardly see this from Barca. Even if it's offside, you just make those runs to make the opposition think. And these guys were really open and they got their right place at the end of the box to actually do this kind of thing. And I think all of this greatness and this great tactics actually start on the football field and on the practice field, right? Where they practice these things and these guys are doing it. It seems like they played for Barca. They came through the Barcelona youth system. And this is how important it is to actually do all of these things on the practice field, guys. I honestly think by next season, they're going to win some silverware. They could win the Copa del Rey next season if he just makes some good signings, some getting better quality players. This manager could actually do good and he could actually do something against bigger teams, right? If we look at Real Madrid, unfortunately, they lost 2-0, but they kept position. So what do you think about Garcia Pimenta, guys? You, I, I don't know if you know him, but he was uh, the Barcelona B coach, and he was he actually won the youth league with the B with the B team. So what? Let me know down in the comment section what do you guys think about Garcia Pimienta? I think he's an excellent manager. Somebody actually hit me up to do analysis on him on this team, and this is some of the core tactics that he has. Right? We can go dive deep into him. You can watch him, and do let me know what do you think about Garcia Pimienta. Do you think he should have been the manager ahead of Xavi? Or what lot do you think? Let me know down in the comment section, guys. What do you think? All right. All right. So that will be all for my side today. I hope you guys understood everything we talked about. Let me know your comments down below. Uh, we're not going to do a tactical review on this uh, video. But please, if you're new around here, do subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you guys who have been supporting this channel. Uh, if you're new around here, like I said, please do subscribe. Join the family. We upload at least three times a week. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.